Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea. And I'm Howard. And we are with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And we are here today with another unboxing from Universal Yums. Austria. Austria, yes. I don't think we've had this country before. I don't know, uh, it sounds familiar. Okay, we may have had this country before. So if you're not familiar with Universal Yums, it is a monthly subscription box and they send you snacks from around the world once a month. It's $25 a month and you get what, like 10 to 12 snacks? Yes. To try, so um, we're gonna jump in and I will tell you that each month you get a booklet about that country in the booklet it gives you trivia about that country, and then it also, um, typically it gives you recipes like this, so you get a recipe, and then everything that's in the box, you get a description of it as well. You get the history and just more information on that product. So we are going to jump in without further ado. First thing we are trying is this one. Paprika chips? What yeah, that? so it's Kelly's Paprika Chips. And um, that's pretty much all it says here. Um, hmm. It says Austria became hooked on paprika thanks to a man named Janos Katen Katenayi. I don't know <laughs> what that says. That's what it looks like. Oh, they're pretty, pretty paprika. They kind of look like... Um, Potato chips. Well, they look like barbecue potato chips. Oh, yes, they do. Like a Lay's barbecue potato chip. They don't really have a smell, does it, or is it me? I don't really smell anything. I don't anything. smell anything. Okay, cheers. Tastes a little dusty. What does that mean? I don't know. A dusty potato chip? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I taste the paprika a little bit. I taste the paprika, but it's not overpowering. It's not really savory like a barbecue potato chip would be or like a sour cream and onion. It's very mild. You know, it also reminds me of Pringles. Oh, the texture of it? Yeah, and the chip itself reminds me of Pringles. So they're very light like a Pringle and they're not like a kettle chip, but so would you buy those? Probably not. They're not bad to me. Okay, so next thing we're trying is, it's called Pischinger Mandel Ecken. Probably saying that wrong but it's um, almond cream filled wafers coated in milk chocolate and almonds. Um, let's see, so Howard's Ooh. opening up the uh, little bag for us right now. Oh, they're looks, bigger than I thought. Looks like this. Yeah. Want um, your whole, whole one or you want me to cut it? Um, I can, I'll just take a bite out of it. So. Doesn't look bad. Mm, it says a gooey layer of melted chocolate, almond cream, and crispy almond toppings. Oh. Cheers. I like it, you won't. <laughs> so here's what it looks like on the inside. So it's like one of those wafer cookies. It's actually not bad. I don't know that I would go out and buy it. I like it, it has the almond flavor I like. Mm-hmm. It's okay. There it is. Not bad, bad. I say that was good. Oh, I do taste the almond flavor now. Yeah, I didn't taste it before. <laughs> yeah, I didn't taste that almond flavor. So like that almond extract flavor, I'm yeah. not into. I know you wouldn't like that one. No, I don't care for that. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we're trying is Kelly's Snips. And these are puffed corn peanut snacks. It doesn't sound good to me at all. No, but you I like, like peanuts. I like peanuts, but I don't like puff anything. Well, that's true, because he doesn't like cheese puffs. He likes the... Those I'll do called? Cheetos. Like the Cheetos, but not the cheese puffs. Yeah, so this is it. Hmm, okay. It looks like a peanut. It, it smells like peanut butter. It's kind of like a sweet yeah. smell. Cheers. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're very stale tasting. Yeah, I taste the peanut though. No, I don't know. What? That's a no. That's a no. It's like a, a it's really puffed, but it's very like a shell with nothing in the middle. So you bite in and it just collapses. Yeah, and it's, it tastes stale. It really does. I wonder what the expiration to. No, these don't expire until December, but they taste very stale, chewy. Okay. What's up next? 
the big banana, which is a big dark banana. chocolate bar with banana mousse filling. And I don't like bananas, so. Ooh, I thought we've received this one before. That's why I thought maybe we had this box before. Banana. I think we've had it from like, um, Oh. Like a South American country or something. It's kind of leaking a little bit. You want to yeah. show them what it looks like? So. Oh, I smell the banana. It's a very strong banana smell. This is fit. That's what it looks like. Shaped like a banana. And it smells very banana-y. Banana-y. I mean, I could smell it as soon as he put it on the counter. I want a smaller piece of that. Please. Smaller than that. No, that's good. That's what it looks like. Ready? Ooh, smells very. And the texture is like a banana. Ooh. <laughs> it says it's a mousse, but it tastes like a like a whole banana. No, it, it, it it's moussey. <laughs> and it's isn't it citrusy or is it mean? I no, I got I got that lime taste or something. Ugh. Do they have lime or anything in there? Excuse me. Um it doesn't say that it has lime. It just tastes. It says banana flavored marshmallow something bar. It, it says um, on the description, it says dark chocolate bar with banana mousse filling. But it tastes like a banana. It has a <laughs> banana texture. It's not moussey. It's limey as well. So, okay. That's a no-go for me. What about you? No, I can skip that one. Okay, so the next thing we're going to try is a milch wafflet. So I'm probably saying that wrong. And it is a, we got two of those, by the way. And it says strawberry cream filled wafer with chocolate. So I think oh. they had you at strawberry. They lost you at wafer. Yes, that's true. <laughs> I'm not big on the like the wafer cookies. Oh. So this one looks like the top layer got uh, no, crushed off or something. I mean, it, it fell the off. There's a backside to it with the chocolate. Oh, that's the part with the chocolate. Okay. Let's see. Thank you. This one does smell like strawberry. Yes, it. it does. Cheers. Mm. Not bad. Not bad, but I don't like wafers. But I do taste the chocolate and the strawberry. Okay. Next up is the Bobby Caramel Bar. Now this sounds good to me. Bobby. It is milk chocolate bar with caramel nougat and crispy wheat rice. Mm. Uh, you heard me. Huh? <laughs> I don't like wheat stuff. Like I like white rice, white bread. I'm not into like brown rice. So they had you until wheat. They had me until that. Well, this is what it looks like. Okay, let's see here. I can read anything else about it. Um. Count Bobby, apparently, whoever this bar was named for was like an aristocrat who liked to crack jokes. Okay, this is what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like a um, hundred grand. If you've seen those candy bars that have the, I can't see, has the, uh, like the crispy rice on the outside. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Mm, not bad. Not bad, but, mm. It's very sweet. I taste the caramel. It just tastes like puffed rice, not wheat rice. It's sweet though. It's candy, it should be sweet. Okay, so next up we have the Kastner gingerbread, which is a soft gingerbread with hazelnuts, <clears throat> excuse me, hazelnuts, almond, candied orange, and sugar glaze. That sounds like it's right up your alley. <laughs> Cause I, you like soft stuff, and I like crunchy, like a, like a ginger snap. Yeah, if you like a soft cookie. And that's what you like. Okay. So, um, and candied orange pills. Okay, it sounds all good. Sounds just like, just like you. Oh man. This is like chewy looking. Yeah, it is kind of chewy as he's trying to cut it on the counter. It's, it's uh. So this is what it looks like in the middle there. Mm-hmm. 
a smaller piece or that's good. Uh, doesn't matter. Just take a little bite. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, not bad. Mm. <laughs> you like it. <laughs> it does have a good flavor. It tastes like a spice the bun or something. What is it? For those that don't know what a spice bun is. Oh, um, I'm not sure, but it tastes spicy. Like, uh, remind me of Panettone again. But it tastes spicy. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's next? Okay. Um, the next thing is a Nut Joe, and it's Hustle Nuss Waffle. Again, I'm saying this wrong, I know. Hazelnut and chocolate cream filled wafer. Oh, another wafer. Man, they like wafers in Austria. Okay. Not bad looking wafer. A lot of hazelnuts in there. Okay. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, light and crispy. Mm hmm. It's not bad, but. Again, sweet, but it's very sweet, but again, not special. into wafers. I taste the nuts in there. Yeah, for sure. I taste them. Okay, so the next thing is Kelly's Creamy Onion Mini Frites. And these look like, um, they're like little shoestring. Onion fries. Yeah, onion fries. Um, creamy onion flavor, I guess. Yeah, it says, uh, what does it say about it? Oh, they're like onion sticks. Yeah. So apparently potatoes are a big thing in Austria. I'm just trying to read what it says about it a little bit. These are teeny weeny. Cheers. Tastes like onion. Ooh, those taste good. They have a really good flavor. Yeah, not bad at all. Mm-hmm. Those are good. Ah, so you like something. I like something in here. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy. Okay, so the next thing are the it's Choco Eder Erdbeeren. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. It is dark chocolate coated strawberry mousse. And I like strawberries, Howard. Yeah, I can do without strawberries. He's not big into strawberries at all, so I may like this um, with the strawberry mousse. That sounds pretty good to me. Oh. Ooh. Pretty big. Uh, Pretty big. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. It looks like a slice of strawberry. Yeah. Let's see. Inside, mm. it looks strawberry. -ish. It looks just like what's on the package, actually. Oops. I'll take this half right here. Cheers. Very soft. Mm-hmm. Tastes like strawberry. Mm-hmm. Like chocolate covered strawberries, actually. It does. Almost exactly. Not bad. It's a little Not twangy. Me. It's Not a little twangy. Mm -hmm. That's so strawberry tart to me. You think so? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, two more items to try. The next one is a, it's just a chocolate bar. It says 30% cacao Oh, you're not going to pronounce the name of this one? Chocolate bar. <laughs> 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 a walnut schlok clade. <laughs> I tried. You don't speak German or Austrian or whatever? No. No. So it's just a regular old chocolate bar is what this is. Oops. Oops. It broke. Okay. This it looks like a solid piece of chocolate, but it was longer, of course. Yeah, it's a longer thing, but, but broke off. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me cut that into two here. Okie dokie. Oh, it's... Oh, there's something in it. No, oh, I think it's solid, just the way it cut. Want to show them? Looks like it's See, just two different. I think it's just the way it cut, I think. I don't know. No, I don't see anything about that. Hey, oh, sorry, I didn't take it. <laughs> it's chocolate. It looks like chocolate. I will say it's better than like just a plain old Hershey's. 
Mm. Pretty good chocolate. Yeah, that actually is pretty good chocolate. Okay. It's very creamy. Mmm. It's nice. It is nice. Okay. So the last thing we are trying is Cool Mint Lemon, which is a lemon peppermint patties with chocolate coating, which Howard loves mint. No. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, Don't so you? if they had left out the mint, I probably would have been okay with it. Yeah, he doesn't like mint. I just think that's so strange, but he doesn't like mint at all. Um, but I, I will say I've never had, um, oh. Cool. Well, it comes Other. in a tray like that. It's interesting. And each one of this. Uh, let's split one because yeah. I, I don't. You don't, don't like the mint. Now you know how I feel <laughs> when I say let's split something. I love mint. And I do like York peppermint patties too. So. I don't. Ready? All right, let's see. Get the mint. But I get, also get the. um. Lemon. lemon. It's better, better than the New York like, peppermint patty. The mint is, um, maybe because it's not peppermint. I get the mint, it's cool mint, but this is better than the New York peppermint patty. And see, and I don't think it's as good as a New York peppermint patty, but. I think because the mint's not as strong. I maybe. It. Still don't, not into mint though. Yeah, it's not, not bad though. So I think that's it. Yeah, we're done. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we hope that you do so. We'll continue to do videos like this. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.